Hi everyone, I'm Dominique Mess. Hi, I'm Maribel Alleman. And we are the creators of Group Coaching HQ. So today we're answering the question, what are the most current and best assessment tools available for group coaching? And we really want to say that it depends on the type of coaching you do, and it really depends on what you use the assessment for. And also, you want to think about whether you want to do paid assessments or whether you want to do free assessments. If the assessments you're going to use are paid, then make sure that you include that price in the, the group's um, fee. So we're each going to share our favorite or at least one assessment that we use in our coaching. Maribel? Thank you, Dom. So one of the most amazing assessments is really the Gallup Strengths Finder. Um, what it does, it helps the individuals hone in on their strengths. It is a paid assessment, but it is a minimal cost. Now, what I would say about using this particular assessment is that it increases the bond that you're looking for in the group coaching setting. It allows people to not only share and celebrate their strengths, but one great way to increase that bond is to have the members of the group reflect back to that person how they have seen that strength show up in the group coaching. And one thing I like to ask them to do as well is say, okay, share your hope of how this person will actually continue or amplify their use of that strength. And imagine at the end of that session, you walk away not only with that reflection, but also with these aspirations that your group has shared with you. So it's an amazing instrument and it has a long shell life, meaning you can keep coming back to it and the peers can continue to, to reflect back to that person, how their strengths are showing up and how they can continue using it. Fantastic, fantastic. Thank you so much. Um, the, the one that I'd like to, to share with you is actually a free assessment. It's called the Saboteur Test, and you can take it online. We'll put a, a link to it in the notes. Um, what I like about this one is that it really shows each member how they self-sabotage, and it creates a lot of self-awareness. Now, I'm not a fan of the word saboteurs because I really do believe that every part of us is actually here to serve us and not to try to you know sneakily try to make us fail at anything and so what i like to do with this assessment once everyone has done it first create a lot of vulnerability because everybody is coming out and seeing and talking about what it is that uh, holds them back often and the second thing i like to do is to try and really get the group to see clearly what that saboteur is actually trying to tell them. What is the message? What is the, the way that that saboteur is actually trying to um, move them forward? And so by flipping it on its head in a way and having the group discuss this, this flip, you're really creating a lot, of, um, a lot of compassion, a lot of connection through vulnerability. So we hope that this was helpful. Uh, Maribel, anything to add on this one? No, I would just say try it. But I would, what I would say is think about what your group's needs are. Don't pick an assessment just for the sake of picking an assessment. Also, a little caveat, groups love assessments, so they're going to get assessment happy and ask you for a million. So you are their guide. Um, so this is where you can have a really purposeful conversation as to what is the use of the assessment? What's its purpose? Um, not do it just because it's there and it's a fun thing to do. Absolutely. And I'll add one more tiny, tiny thing. Make sure that those assessments are done outside of your session time, right? Otherwise, you're just wasting the time in the session. So anything that you want, um, you want them to prepare it in advance so that they can actually come prepared, think about it and have some insights. Thanks so much, everyone, and we'll see you for our next Ask Us Anything. Thank you.